So Manuel is our designer for today. And you are our chief designer. Uh, I'm the chef. I think today. we have to switch yeah. as <laughs> Manuel's <laughs> machine. Okay. Okay, so the goal is to show you a um, product experience presenter on the touch uh, pad here, on the touch display. Usually you can use it on your screen or also on the power wall if you do a design review. So the goal of Manuel is to present uh, and discuss, to take decisions about a new design of a motorbike starting from an existing one, which is a urban bike. So we had a urban version of this mm -hmm. bike. Last week, we presented you a first sport version. You were not totally happy. We work on the design. And we, today, I would like to show you some new design alternatives for this sport version of the bike. Oh, we want to do a sport version. OK, yes, so show me what you, what you have. So if you could switch to the uh, viewpoint for the fender. First thing, um, we have redesigned the the fender for a performance one. We'll be moving uh, forward with the rim to have also uh, a new version of the rim, more sporty. Not only a product uh, alternative, but also material uh, alternative with a first uh, Titan uh, version of the material and a black one. Yeah. Maybe you prefer the Titan. Yeah, it's, it's good to be able to see uh, the design or the design is perceived depending on the, the shape but also the material, so okay. yeah, I prefer this one. Let's move forward with the exhaust. We thought that uh, a double exhaust would definitely give a more sporty uh, character to the motorbike. <coughs> yeah, for the sport the, version, it makes sense, so let's skip that. Also, regarding the, um, the body and the material, the, the blue is nice, but we thought that something more punchy like the uh, orange would be even better. I hope you like it. Yeah, that's fine. But let's see how it looks also on the other parts, elements of the bike. Okay. And so that's basically uh, how the sport version look now. Um, okay. If you want, we can compare it to the actual um, okay, but urban you version. Have, you want to put another, uh, oh yeah, different positions also. Yes, we okay. can appreciate it in the various positions, like it's when it's parked, actually. Okay. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's compare it with the existing bike, so I can have also an element of uh, comparison as a design uh, perception. So you bring in two bikes. Yes, okay. and I put a turntable for both of them, which I just figured with a, a key on my keyboard. Yeah, it's not very fluid on the streaming, sorry guys, but uh, you will see the the real-time performances of this application is very amazing. It's very fluid and dynamic, so you can really run a smooth and efficient design review, styling review. Yes, and I prepared a couple of uh, viewpoint variants yeah. for you to go around and appreciate the design. Yeah. You know, in design studios, you have some uh, specific point of view to judge your car, which, has, which are always the same references. So with this application, you can also store this point of view that you can reuse in all your uh, presentations. But at any time, even while you're doing it, you have the turntable, you can navigate inside the 3D space. Yes, with a uh, free navigation is always available. So you know the sport version looks good. So we have combined several elements, several materials, several positions. Now we can save all that variance configuration, let's say, into a package. Yes. A selling package, and we're not talking about the PLM configuration here, we're talking about the just a styling uh, combination. But the last thing I would like to show you is a new design of the head lamp for a designer. Uh, it's, uh, just inform me that it's ready. So I will create a new product um, variant line uh, for the headlamp. I will first um, select the current uh, headlamp, which is a, well, has a, it has a classic look. Okay, some customer may like it uh, in the end, but it's in the end for you to decide uh, yeah. which one looks better. So you can see how easy it is to create some variance line. Yes, and we have some shortcut to insert uh, existing product uh, directly in the, the 3D, in the, the existing panel. So I just search for the uh, sport version of the headlamp uh, and I will be um, positioning it uh, very quickly. Uh, so that we, I can then create a second product variant okay. with this twin headlamp. It's a second design proposal, in fact, that yes. you want to show me. 
So you create uh, in the headlamp uh, variant lines um, the second one. Yes. So we were in the play mode in the previous uh, part of the presentation to do the design presentation. Yes. Now we are more in an authoring mode where we are adding some more. Uh, some more alternatives okay. for uh, different. Uh, and you saw designs. how easy it is to create variant line. You don't need to be a programmer. It's not for expert users. It's very easy and it's very visual. By the way, you can play that uh, full screen on the power wall and have the UI elements on a different screen. So I just switched to the full screen uh, for design mode um, and then I triggered again the, the play mode to compare the, the two versions of the bike. Uh, what is not shown in the video is that if you agree with the sport version, uh, we can consolidate this version of the, the, the sport uh, bike in a new package. It combines all the different variants that you have selected. Yes. Everything which is selected uh, okay. on the screen, which so you combine a single uh, package, which we call a stage. Okay, so on one click, you can activate all the options. Yes. And the variants that you have selected. Okay, very good. Thank you. So this is a. Uh, this is very important. You know, in the design studios, they do the design, the sketching, the modeling, but they do also a lot of design review presentations. So this was missing in our portfolio.